block out the noise. My name is Mark Fennell and we are here at the Splendour Forum. The best part of Splendour. Don't tell the main stage I said that. My main concern is that it legitimises biases that humans already have and can perpetuate them in the algorithm. If we are talking about a treaty, then it needs to be operated for our people, by our people. At the, end of the, day. the people on the stage get to own that space and that they get to start a conversation with people they've never met before. So you've got intellectual thought, you've got emotion, you've got music. It's just a place to chill out a little bit and think. Let the grey matter go for a little bit of a wander. Without that kind of political change, we are not going to get to where we need to be by appealing to people to make individual, conscientious, environmentally friendly actions. <laughs> My publisher's looking at me like, don't talk about this. <laughs> I only just realised that you're wearing a Walt Disney Cinderella t-shirt. Yeah, because I'm gangster. Do you still eat eggs? I do, I have an uh, egg in my milkshake every morning. <laughs> Artists mixing with academics and scientists. I feel like it's a really good place for conscious consumption. Sit down five feet away from Courtney Barnett and hear, you know, hear her talk about the deep and meaningful things in her life. You know, it's, it's really complimentary in my opinion. It's all in the name! It's called the Forum, it's like in the ancient Roman days where people would come and sit under the Colosseum roof and talk about life and, and art and culture and ideas. Today more people are looking for something that is socially and environmentally responsible. And it's also a pretty great place to sit if you've cooked yourself a little hard too early on in the fest. You know they say men are afraid of women mocking them and women are afraid of men killing them. And so it's like, we tap dance as women so much around that because we know that the rage can come up. I think it's great to just have these like open discussions where people can uh, come and express their opinions. I've been hearing the same thing in Parliament for the last seven years I've been a Senator, that we need to have gradual incremental change on climate change. It's too bloody late for that. We're now 25 years into global experience in pill testing and the idea that Australia would be doing something first in drugs policy is laughable anyway. Independent science education and a discussion and indeed the right to have a debate about these issues in front of the public terrifies our politicians and therefore must only be a good thing.